Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of DJ's BrewTube. I'm your host DJ as always, back with you for another beer review. Been doing some drink reviews, been doing some other beer reviews. Tonight we got something that a lot of people know. Tonight we got our friend Red Stripe Lager. And that's from our lovely island of Jamaica, from Kingston, Jamaica, man. Bad Jamaican accent, but been to Jamaica. Jamaica's pretty cool. And this beer isn't half bad from what I can recall of lots of time in the sun, drinking many of these, actually in a little squat brown bottle that you guys have all seen. And it's kind of interesting, the history of those squat brown bottles. Do you know, guys, why they started making beer in those bottles? Because longer neck bottles like this can be smashed on the bar and used as a weapon easily. Short squat bottles cannot. That's also another reason cans became popular besides keeping them fresh, but little beer geek trivia there for you. Anyways, as you know, I'm a canned beer aficionado, especially for a lager beer like this. If it's in a can, odds are, not 100%, but odds are it's not going to be skunky. On the bottom of said can, it is also dated. Mm -hmm. Get it together, other craft beer guys, the big macro brewers, that's one thing they got over all of you because they always date their beers, whether it's a bottle or a can, 99.9% .9 of the time, even crap beer's got a date on it, guys. Get with it, put the dates on it, especially if you're making IPAs and stuff, you should be ashamed of yourself if you don't put a date on there because if you want somebody to really drink your beer and have it taste like it's supposed to, you know darn well with an IPA that it's got to be fresh and it shouldn't be more than six months old, but I'm going to get off my soapbox now. This one... Um, let's see, right now it's April, and this beer was brewed in the end of February. Gotta like that. So, let's get this one cracked, get into the glass, see what it looks like, get an aroma, taste, and a point of view for you. Let's go. Don't need any opener on this one. Another advantage if you're on where? The beach. Or if you're camping, or having fun out of doors. Cans are king. And this is a king can, or a tall boy, whatever you want to call it. So let's get in the glass. I got our friend in the low and brown mug back that I used. Uh, I think I used this first in the Bud Platinum video because these macro loggers like this tend to foam up a pretty good amount. Gets dissipates quickly but stays doesn't stay around long but anyways look at that bad boy guys. Got a full three fingers ahead on that one. Lots of active bubbles below the surface. If you take a look at this here get some light shine on it. It's clear straw golden color like most macro loggers. This actually has a lot of aroma coming off, and I can smell from here that it's not skunk. Why? Because it is in a can. If you're going to drink these macro lagers, dude, buy them in a can. Yeah, you hear some country songs talking about long neck bottles, but the beer tastes ten times better in the cans. Anyway, so let's get an aroma on this one and see what we got. It's your average macro lager. It's got actually pretty good scent to it. We got corn. We got some grains going on. A lot of sweetness and actually a little bit of hops. This is a 4.7% alcohol by volume beer. So it's, there's no alcohol smell to this one at all. And I think the IBO is, on this one is only like 17. So it's pretty low. This is meant to drink back to back to back. And it's really meant to be drank in the heat on the beach in the sun. But hey, it was made in Jamaica. So what do you expect? That's what they got lots of there. So let's get a taste on this one. But smell. Not much else really there, just mainly sweet corn. It's a macro adjunct lager. Let's see what we got here. Head retention, not bad. Still a finger and a half. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how I remember. It's not that bad. Definitely better than that Bud, Bud Platinum garbage I had a couple days ago. That was, a, that was just an offensive, nasty, Drain pour almost beer, though I didn't drain pour because I drank them because I bought it, <laughs> anyways. But this reminds me a lot of the Heineken I had the couple re few reviews back. I did like the Heineken better, it has a little bit more complexity to it, it's got a little bit more hops. This is mainly sweet corn adjunct sweetness in here, it's not really a malty or caramelly sweetness, it's just a sweet, crisp semi-dry finish to it. It's got a real thin mouthfeel and there's almost no body to it, but really you got decent head retention for the type of beer that it is. You got still good carbonation coming up from the bottom. I'd say this is a medium high carbonation. 
it doesn't have that artificial carbonation feel like a lot of Bud, the Miller, and Coors have. This is actually a, a better in that respect. Um, but on a hot day, this is, I think, a real refreshing beer. Kind of in some ways, um, like I said, it's like a lot like the Heineken, but, you know, I, I can't really knock this one too bad. It is what it is. This is an adjunct lager, like I said, meant to drink back to back to back in a long session period. That's also why it's only a 4.7% ABV. But let me take a look here. Um, beer Advocate gives us a 71. For them, that's, that's pretty high. Rate Beer, they give it a 9. 9? Come on, guys. What the hell? 9? It's better than 9. I mean, it ain't winning awards and gold medals anymore, but I don't know if it ever has, but it's it's not a 9. So, I'm going to give this a C. For the style, it's, it's a solid beer. It's a decent representation of the style. It's an American adjunct lager. It's way better than the Bud and the Miller and the Coors and all those guys, which I consider D and way below average beers. Um, and you know what, I'd drink this again. I'd be out cutting grass, sitting on the deck with the buddies, having maybe some crabs like we have to steam crabs like we have to hit, like to have here in Maryland, some seafood. It, this would stand up to a lot of decent meals, it, and it wouldn't fill you up too much like some of the craft beers do because they're heavier and have a lot more body to them. So give this one a try, guys. Get it in the can, though. The bottle, you get skunky bottles of this. Even though it's brown bottle, you still get skunky because these adjunct loggers, they age quickly, and we know we don't like to keep those around. But give it a try, you know. Tell me what you think of this. Rate, comment, subscribe. Send me, you know, what you think, and I'll reply to you. So, until later, guys, remember what I always say. Think globally, drink locally, support your local brewers. Let's keep this craft beer movement growing, and I'll see you on the next DJ's BrewTube. Peace out. Hey, guys, DJ back here. Gave some of this to the better half, also known as the wife. She said she liked this one because it tastes like Corona. Don't listen to that. It doesn't taste like Corona because it's not skunky and nasty. But I'm going to try Corona in the can at her behest to see if it's actually better and kind of like this. So we'll see. I'll try to find Corona in the can. It's not too easy around here. But we'll see you on the next DJ's BrewTube, guys. Peace out.